Hello, my name is Heba. My colleagues and I are going to present today our embedded systems project. It's mainly about fire and smoke detector system. It consists of four components. One, a smoke sensor. Two, a flame sensor. Three, a water pump. And four, a buzzer. Uh, we have two inputs and two outputs. For the components I've mentioned before, the two inputs are the sensors, the smoke sensor and the flame sensor, and for the outputs are the buzzer and the water pump. Hello, my name is Marwa. I will start with the parts that are there in the product. We will talk about the flame sensor. The flame sensor, the whole purpose of it is to detect a fire or a flame. The flame sensor contains four pins. The first pin is the ground, the second pin is the VCC, the third uh, and the fourth pins are the output pins. One is the analog, one is the digital. In our case, we used the digital. As you can see, uh, the flame sensor has two LEDs, a uh, red LED, and uh, here it's supposedly uh, a green LED. The red LED the lights when uh, the sensor is connected to the VCC. The green LED lights when a flame is detected. I will show you now how the, um, the LED will uh, turn uh, on and off. Now it's off. I will reconnect it back. It lit. And the same will happen with the flame. Now, uh, when the flame is detected, uh, a signal is sent from the sensor to the output, which is the digital, and that will uh, make the other components uh, turn, get turned down, uh, as you will see later in the video. As we mentioned before, one of our input is the smoke sensor. Here it is. The smoke sensor has four pins. One is for the VCC, which is connected to the breadboard, and from the breadboard to the Arduino. One is for the ground, and it's two connected to the Arduino uh, through the breadboard. And one is for the digital output, and one is for the analog output. We decided to use the analog output because analog in general provides a range of numbers. So we can test like using a small amount of smoke, we can activate our outputs. However, the difference between the analog and, uh, and the digital is that the digital has to be like on or off. Like we have to have like a huge amount of smoke in order for it to activate the output. So here, for example, we choose to read like when it comes to 300 or 400 or something from the reading of the uh, smoke sensor in the Arduino, we will activate our Arduino 
and uh, the, the H-bridge has uh, input voltage, we got it from an adapter, and uh, two uh, pins, two other pins, output A and B, to be connected to the uh, wires uh, of the uh, pump. to one of the digital pins in the Arduino. And now I'm going to some of the connections of the whole uh, project. The pump has a separate circuit. It takes a signal from the Arduino and this signal is sent to the H bridge which, connect, which is connected to the pump and uh, decide w uh, whether the pump should operate or not. Uh, uh, we, have, uh, we have here a breadboard. Um, this node is the VCC. It has the VCC from the smoke sensor, VCC from the flame sensor, and a wire connected to the VCC from the Arduino. Uh, and this node here uh, is the ground. Uh, the ground from the flame sensor, the smoke sensor, the buzzer, and the ground from the Arduino. And now I will explain the code. First, we configured two, uh, the two inputs, the smoke sensor and the flame uh, sensor. Then uh, we configure the outputs to be the pump, the buzzer, and the direction of the pump. And then I will check in the loop if uh, either the smoke or the flame sensor is high. I will send a high signal to the pump, to the buzzer, and I will set the direction of the pump to be 255. Else I will set uh, both the buzzer and the, the both the, the buzzer and the pump to be low. And now, me and Minrit will test the project. We'll start by the smoke sensor. And here is the pump cord. We'll test the flame sensor. And it worked. 